friend of us. Welcome to the Sew News Dixie DIY Sew Along. We are going to be making the Movies in the Park shorts. Such a cute name, but the shorts, of course, don't need to be worn to the park or to, be, or to a movie, either one. It's just a really cute kind of a beach short uh, pattern. Um, I did make a few modifications to the short. Um, I chose this little floral pattern and then as it turned out I had this stripe um, that I thought mixed well with the pattern and would kind of offset it a little bit and so I the original pattern has the binding around the sides and the bottom of the shorts but I added the piping around the pocket I added piping around the waistband I also made one other rather major change to the short. Um, the original pattern calls for the buttons to go all the way down the side. There are six, pattern, or six buttons on the original pattern instructions. I elected not to do that, and my reason for that is that if the buttons went down into this area, this is also the pocket area, and it would restrict some of the pocket and I decided that I, I wanted full use of my pocket. So rather than putting the buttons all the way down, the buttons stop at the top edge of the pocket, and then this is stitched down, and we'll talk about that later. So those are the changes that I made to the short, and you can see it's, a, it's just really, it's a cute, cute short. Now as far as fabric choices, the fabric that I chose, um, it's a twill, uh, or, and it, but it has uh, some, spandex in it, just uh, maybe about 3%. So if you're going to buy something like that, this is a very similar fabric, different pattern obviously, but you can see that in the crosswise it has just a little bit of stretch, which makes it very nice and makes it, will make the shorts a lot more comfortable to wear, especially if you're sitting in the park watching a movie. So um, think about that. Now of course the shorts don't need to be worn just for the summer and just to the park. Um, I also thought that if you were to get, um, this is a, a little bit of a, a crepe, a wool crepe with a plaid pattern of course, and the shorts would also be adorable made up in um, a wool uh, paired with a pair of tights and maybe some short boots, a little jacket, could be a really a cute look. Um, as I said, I chose to uh, pipe and bind it in a contrasting fabric, and this is the fabric that I chose. Um, but you know, here at first I thought eh, I'm not too sure about it, but then once I cut the cut the binding and I held it up to the fabric, I really liked it. This fabric too um, has a little bit of a stretch, but rather than in the crosswise the straight the stretches in the lengthwise grain not that that really makes a difference um, the only difference that it would make is if you if you have a fabric that you're using that has the stretch in the lengthwise grain rather than the crosswise grain then you're going to want to cut rather than using the straight grain um, as your guideline for your grain line you'll want to use your crosswise grain so now, as you can see, the shorts are, they're not super short, but they're not super long either. And, uh, you know, for myself, they're fine for the beach or, you know, maybe an afternoon in the yard at home. Um, but for a short that I would feel comfortable um, being in, um, as far as maybe going out shopping, something like that, I, I would want a little bit of a longer short. Now this pattern is very easy to modify, but first let's talk about putting the pattern together. Many people are, are rather intimidated by uh, PDF patterns. Um, now a PDF pattern is one that you print off at home or you can take it to a copy shop and have it printed. This, print, this pattern is not a large pattern at all. There are 12 tiles, 12 sheets of paper for the pattern. So when you're printing out your pattern, the most important thing is to scroll through the file and find the test square. 
and print that page out first because it's imperative in order for the for the short or whatever pattern that you're printing out in order for that pattern to really be correct to size you need to make sure that the test square measures what it says that it should measure so in this case the test square is four by four so you just take your ruler print out that one page take your ruler match it up and as long as it's four by four on both sides then you're good to go then you can print out the rest of the pages one of the things that i say about pdf patterns is there it's like instant gratification you see a pattern you like it it's 10 o'clock at night you know what store is open what fabric store anyway is open at 10 o'clock at night but hey your computer is always up and ready to go as is your printer you can print out the pattern cut it out what any time that's good for you so I like that a lot and I find them very easy to work with and very easy to put together this pattern is especially easy to put together um, if you'll see when the pages are printed out they actually have a margin all the way around so and then a court there are uh, little notches um, across the horizontal is numbered and on the vertical they have a letter and so you just match them up and you find the corresponding um, so here in this case it's eight and eight and you just match those up you want to make sure that you put everything together as straight as possible so that your pattern doesn't get off and one thing that you need to remember is in matching it up you do need to cut off some of the margin so on this page I left the margin there and on this page I cut the margin off so that I could easily match that up so once that's done then you tape them in place and now with this I would have three I have three more pieces that need to be taped on but other than that I'm ready to go I can cut out my pattern and then cut out my fabric and off I go. Now like I said, for some people the shorts would be just a little bit too short. So if you'd like a little bit of a longer short, it's very easy to modify the pattern. What I did is I just took paper, regular paper, um, I do a lot of drafting uh, on my own and I go down to my local uh, office supply store and I get a large roll of white paper and I have one here I can show you. So I get just a large roll of white paper. It costs about $5. It's not as expensive at all and I've got paper for quite a long time. Um, I like white paper primarily because once you draw a line on it, you can see through it. So if I put it, it'd be a little bit difficult for the camera to see, but once I can see the, the line that's underneath it. So that's one of the reasons that I like white paper better than brown paper. So to adjust this pattern, what I did is I took my short pattern and I pinned it onto my paper and then cut out around it and I determined I measured down from this short you can see it comes just below the belly button and then this is about two inches wide so if you measure from about two inches below your belly button down the length of your leg that you would like your short to be then you can determine how long you would like this how much you would like to add to the length of the leg so now if you think about it very often with patterns they, they have a line and they say if you want to lengthen or shorten, you cut here and that's where you, you make the adjustment. But if you think about the anatomy of the leg, the leg narrows as it goes down to the knee. So we want to continue that line. So here you can see that I continue the line down on the inner leg seam. And here I also did the same thing. I didn't use the curve this is the style line, so not a fit line, but a, cur a style line. So once I had the, the length that I wanted, then I simply moved this down and then drew in 
the curve and cut off the little square on the side. And of course I did the same thing with the back. Now on the back what's very important is you see that there is a dart in the back so you need to make sure that the dart, dart is transferred to your new pattern. And again the inseam leg, the inseam um, of the leg is tapered and then this was just brought down and the curve drawn in. So it's really very simple. It's a very simple process to adjust the pattern to the length that you would like. And I think the longer leg would be something that is, um, that everyone would actually enjoy, you know, depending on where you're going to be wearing your shorts. So in our next, um, next we'll be talking about construction of the shorts. So thanks for joining me for the Dixie DIY Sew Along.